Hello and welcome to what I read in November and December. Uh, sorry it's a little late for November, but I was kind of just struggling to get that video out. And then uh, by the time December came around, I was like, you know what? Let's just combine these two uh, what I read in these months videos together because I didn't read a whole lot at the end of the year. Um, every year I kind of do most of my reading in the beginning of the year and then kind of go down towards the end. But let's get into everything that I read. So the first book that I read was Nora Goes Off Script by Annabelle Monahan. Nora writes formulaic romance movies, kind of like Hallmark movies, and she uh, kind of falls apart when her husband leaves her and her two kids. She turns her collapsed marriage into like new source material. So it's not like her typical writing. And when they decide to make this new story a movie, the actor uh, Leo decides to extend his stay at her house because they're shooting the movie at her house. Overall, um, I would give this, and they get closer um, as the story goes on, of course. I would give this book four stars. The premise is a little kind of out there because, you know, it's an actor who's like fallen in love with this kind of run of the mill lady. And um, it's not something you typically see in romance books. But I thought the story was sweet overall. I really enjoyed like seeing kids in a romance story because you typically don't see kids um, from a previous relationship in romance. So that was kind of cool. And I liked how uh, invested the main character Leo was in getting to know Nora's kids. I thought that was really wholesome and I really liked it overall. Then I read You Make It Feel Like Christmas by Tony Shiloh. Star is home for the holidays and is surprised at not feeling like the black sheep of the family as she usually does. Her brother's friend is hanging around and they have form a connection and help his small business. I would give this like three and a half stars. It was very like cheesy. Um, the writing wasn't like super strong. But overall, it was a cute little Christmas romance story. Nothing like scandalous, very PG. Um, it was very like Hallmark level type story. Then I read A December to Remember by Jenny Bayless. This is about three estranged half sisters who are forced to work together when their father passes away. So they all have a mutual father who was kind of like an eccentric man. And when he passes away, he leaves uh, a will that kind of forces them to work together to accomplish it. And they have to host a winter solstice party as part of the will um, in order to receive their final like um, sum. And I really enjoyed this book. I would give it almost four and a half stars. Um, I thought it was very enjoyable, cozy read. The sisters were all so different, which made it really fun to follow. Each of them had their own distinct story, and each of them were very different kind of people. So it was kind of cool to see them on their own and then also interacting with each other. And it was really a cozy read to read um, for the winter time. Then I read The Goodbye Cat by Hiro Eraka series this is a series of short stories and it's mainly about like how cats are like in our lives and how we interact with them and how um it kind of talks about like the cycle of life of a cat uh it's very cute it's a four star read it was very quick the short stories are filled with like really cute simple things of like how much a cat can impact your life which is so true then i read the last one by will dean when Cass steps on board an exclusive cruise liner with her new boyfriend pete she's ready for a vacation of a lifetime waking up on the first morning she notices pete is missing and she goes to find him 
As she's walking around the cruise, she discovers she is the only person on board. And that's as much information as I think you need. I would suggest going into this book without any more description than that, because that pretty much happens chapter two. So everything else beyond that, enjoy the ride. I would give this book four stars. The story is very compelling. Um, it's kind of frightening to consider, especially given that description. Um, I recently went on a cruise in September and that thing has hundreds and hundreds of people working on it and then hundreds and hundreds of people on board. So imagine waking up and everybody's gone. So, um, I would say it's a really good one. I would suggest reading it. I wouldn't suggest reading it if you were about to go on a cruise because you might get freaked out, but um, maybe afterwards you could read it or you know something like that or way ahead of your cruise or anything like that. But overall, it was a very interesting read. It's a very uh, like thriller um, mystery type of story. Then I read The Magic of the Lemon Drop Pie by Rachel Linden. Lolly is not on a path that she thinks she's supposed to be on. Her 33rd birthday is approaching and she's kind of considering what her life would have been if she did things differently. Her great aunt gives her some lemon drops and tells her they're magical and that they're able to let her discover what her life would have been if she chose a different path. Um, I gave this book four and a half star or maybe like four stars now that I'm kind of more reflecting on it. Overall, um, Lolly is like an interesting character to follow and sometimes the writing is interesting as well. It's not as developed in certain parts as you wish it would be, but, um, I thought it was a very charming book. I thought it was a good way to look at like the past and your present and your future and we all have those moments in life where we're like, what if we did that instead of this? So it's kind of cool to see how this book does it. Uh, obviously, there's a bit of like magical realism. Um, there were some parts that did feel like a little bit repetitive. But other than that, I enjoyed this book. And then the last book I read in 2023 was Funny Feelings by Tara DeWitt. Farley Jones is a loud, chaotic comedian who who is hopelessly in love with her older manager, Meyer. Uh, they agree to fake date in order to kind of jumpstart Farley's career and their feelings toward each other begin coming out. Uh, I gave this book four stars. Overall, uh, I really enjoyed this book. It was a nice look into their relationship and to how comedians date um, because her manager was a comedian as well. And I really liked how this book was a his and hers perspective. And I actually enjoyed the his perspective more than I enjoyed her perspective. But it does go back and forth, which I enjoyed a lot. And um, the only thing I would really nitpick at is I wish it delved more into their backgrounds. It does a little bit, but they kind of bring it up here and there. And I'm like, okay, you could have went a little bit deeper. Um, but overall, it was a pretty good book and I know it just came out last year so if you're interested in checking it out this year would be a good time to do so. So those are the books I read in November and December of 2023. Um, my goal for 2024 is to do 85 books. Of course if you have any recommendations please let me know. Uh, my favorite genres are mystery, thriller, romance, um, classics even. I want to do a lot more of, read a lot more books that I own. I go to library book sales, I buy these books, and then I don't read them forever. So I really want to try and get through some of my library book sale books. Um, so that's one of my goals. What are your goals this year? Please let me know. And I hope to see you throughout the year reading away with me. Thanks.